working on technologies that allow us to increase aerodynamic efficiencies for aircraft system, have much higher lift and lower drag, for example, so you can carry more weight for a given amount of fuel. We can work on improving the propulsion systems so that what comes out of the back end is less polluting. So if you live around an airport, you know when an airplane is taking off. And the larger the airplane is, uh, the more noise it's going to make. So really what you're trying to do is reduce the footprint of the aircraft on the community so that you really don't know that the aircraft's taking off and landing. Enhanced aircraft efficiency and reduced aircraft noise are two key aviation goals. They're the focus of research in active flow and noise control, or AFNC, underway at the Florida Center for Advanced Aeropropulsion. Active flow and noise control are two disciplines. One is based on fluid mechanics, control of fluid flows, and the other one is based on acoustic sound. And when combined, they can be used to enhance the efficiency of commercial and military aircraft. It's active and control. Active refers essentially to the fact that you're, you're doing something to a system that involves either fluid mechanics or acoustics, which requires power. It's about actively detecting, measuring, and controlling fluid flow. For example, air that flows over a wing. But AFNC can also be applied to noise control, typically sound coming from engines. To date, aircraft designers have relied on mechanical components for active control. However, when it comes to reducing noise and improving efficiency, this technology has reached its practical limits. In the last, I'd say, 10 to 20 years, people are looking at other ways to do this, more novel methods using active flow and noise control. The key to active control is the use of tiny actuators and sensors. In any kind of active control system, it means that you have an actuator which is doing something, but not in the context of normal motors and cams, but in ways of affecting the actual motion of the fluid, either through the engine or over the wing or the landing gear. Ideally, each actuator is paired with a micro sensor that continuously measures the flow, providing the necessary feedback that tells the actuator how much force to exert on a specific flow. In order to work effectively, it may require numerous actuators and sensors to do the job. It's very important to be able to develop actuators that are effective, reliable, consume a little bit of energy, as minimal as possible, but yet do the desired task and do so robustly. And there's a whole class of actuators that we're working on at FCAP. Theoretically, Sensors and actuators could more efficiently do the same work as mechanical flaps and rudders. Researchers are working toward an aircraft wing with only one component, the wing itself. It's a goal enthusiastically sought by the partners in the Florida Center for Advanced Aeropropulsion. Various applications for active flow and noise control are being tested using wind tunnels, engine simulators, and high-speed computers and even radio-controlled model aircraft. This is just a sampling of the AFNC research being conducted at the center. To learn more about active flow and noise control, watch the movie entitled Applications in Active Flow and Noise Control.